today's <laughs> project of the day. Yeah, project. We're gonna put new plastic on this, on our greenhouse, so we can get some stuff growing. Uh, we eat a lot of veggies and stuff, so. Um, it's been neglected. It's needed plastic. The plastic on it usually only lasts about four years, and it's a what? At least a year overdue. Oh no, this. Is, yeah, five, six years. At now, least. it didn't look this bad. It wasn't like. It wasn't broken. Yeah, it wasn't coming apart. We've already kind of started and got out here, and we're going to make some modifications to give it a little bit more strength. Yeah. And so we were slicing plastic to, to get to places. And actually, one day it was just so warm in there that we actually sliced a few places to let some air flow. So it wasn't this shabby. No. No, it was it was usable. It just it just needs some new plastic. So that's what we're gonna do today. It's time to get them veggies growing. The not so easy part of getting the plastic on. We do a double layer so that we can run air in between the layers because it gives it more insulation, but it's a serious pain to put up that way. Because the wind, even in the lowest wind, it still wants to fly around and slide and you're trying to match edges up. He's rolling it right now. That's how we get the seal and pinch it so that it inflates. Break that. We got the, the plastic on and the four corners tacked. And then we'll just have to do some final tweaking like what, snugging it up a little bit more. And then and then we run a board along the bottom where you kind of see it rolled and pinch it with the board. We only nailed in the corners to get it to stay in place so that we could get it the way we wanted it. But she's coming along. It was low wind when we started. Of course, it started picking up. The man is tired. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of slack to put in there, but that's all right. Yeah, getting tired. That's clear as I thought it'd be, but when you put two on there, that's why. Right. Yeah, it may not be as clear as you think it will, but it still transmit UV light. Yep. Plenty. Yeah. And then now the whole side is rolled and tacked so that we can install the board that pinches it. And there's the board installer, the nail shooter.
Well, we almost got it done. We got, uh, we're close. We'll, uh, we'll finish it up tomorrow. I guess we'll do a two part or a two and a half part and we'll, we'll combine it with something else. I got one of my tires. I can, you know, I've got a machine and we can, I can change tire. Like y'all want to watch me, <laughs> watch me changing a tire, but we'll throw something out there at least until we get uh, busy again doing some hay stuff, which will be pretty soon. I'm just waiting for a bunch of parts right now uh, for stuff before I can get started doing doing things. So I'm in limbo. The boys are over there pacing. They're yeah. ready to eat. Yeah, we're about to go feed. By the way, I have to say, you look mighty handsome in this light. I do? Yes, I'm heating in the golden hour. It's the perfect sunlight. Do I need like a, I can't put a hat on and be the... Well, you could strike a pose. I was going to say Marlboro, man, but I'm more like Chris Farley. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was the day's work. Yeah. Wrap it up. Feed the horses. Go in and feed ourselves. Yep. Wake up and do it all over again. Have a good night.